The new musical War Paint brings the incredible story of makeup giants to the Broadway stage. We're here at the famous Algonquin Hotel to talk to stars Patti Lapone, Christine Ebersole, and more. You have a great knack of picking amazing roles. What is it about this woman made you want to get on stage and tell her story? Well, I didn't pick it. Um, I was on 54th Street, right in front of uh, uh, 54 Below, and Scott Frankel had come out and he said, have I got a role for you? And that was three years ago. So how did this story come into your life? And t tell me a little bit about sort of the backstory that brought you here. Uh, you know, uh, this particular story came to me via the producer David Stone. He was given a book by James Lapine by a woman named Lindy Woodhead called War Paint that charts the story of Elizabeth Arden and Helena Rubinstein. And it's Lindy's brilliant premise that it was their rivalry that was the rocket fuel and their respective high heels. It's also tangentially about cosmetics and makeup itself. These two women legitimized it for the broader American public. It had previously only been used by actresses and street walkers and dance hall girls. What has it been like getting inside the head and the body and the story of this woman, who I'm sure you've known her name your whole life, but now you're her, now you're bringing her to Broadway audiences. What's it been like getting to, getting to know her? I've been inspired by her. Um, and just, you know, her determination and, um, her commitment and her passion, uh, it's very inspiring, you know, to apply that to my own life, you know. What's so interesting about this? They were amazing women. Well, well, they were trailblazers, um, creating their own trail. And these two women were so successful. I had worked myself from scratch, building up a business. And that was hard in the 70s, so can you imagine how hard that must have been back before women had the vote, before women could have a checkbook? So putting them together, for me, seemed logical. Oh, first of all, you guys have some uh, pretty amazing leading ladies here, don't you? It's, uh, it's a privilege. It's a real privilege. I mean, who doesn't grow up knowing who these ladies are in the business, if you aspire to it, they're like, you know, the Joe DiMaggio, Hank Greenberg. I mean, they're the ones you grow up thinking about. One of the great pleasures of, of this process has been the ways in which both Patty and Christine inspire one another, just the way we all imagine Helena and Elizabeth did. And what's it been like working with Christine? It's so brilliant. We are different enough that, we're, that, that we complement each other and um, we're, we're also very similar. What's it been like working with Patty and going through this process with her? Really great, you know, she's, I have tremendous respect for her. She's amazingly talented and amazing singer. So I'm just kind of in awe. I'm just thrilled to be sharing the stage with her. It's like your head is like playing tennis through the whole day at rehearsal because you're like, you don't want to miss anything <laughs> that one of them does. So you're constantly like, if one eye could do this, it's like it would do it because you don't want to miss a thing. They are the creme de la creme. It's really incredible to write for them and to watch them duke it out on stage. They perform in a way that they bring these women to life. And I think it's also very important to say, apart from their talent, the, the hair, the wigs, the makeup, and of course the clothes, it's, it's scary how they look, because it's as though they have come back to life. I would venture to say it's probably the most beautiful production on stage in this season. It will be stunning to look at, and hopefully we'll be <laughs> stunning actors.